Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Balak Chavla and today we'll learn about the anatomical landmarks as seen in the 3D volume rendering image of a sectional CBCT scan. So basically, uh, since we are doing anatomical landmark only on a 3D volume rendering, we'll just see. So basically, this is the tooth, this is the alveolar crestal bone, this is the mental foramen on the buccal aspect and uh, coming to the lingual aspect, this is the lingual aspect as seen. Okay, so lingual aspect, lingual cusp of the teeth. This is the lingual undercut area. Here's there is my mylohyoid ridge. This is the bony trabecular pattern as seen in the CBCT. Like uh, it is uh, recommended to view it in a grayscale uh, gray images. So and uh, but you can still see it in this uh, thing also. Like you can see it in uh, 3D volume as well. Also now coming to the anatomical landmarks so you can section or divide the tooth into two pieces also like uh, we'll just divide this thing into two sections you just we have just used the sagittal cut section so now basically this is the tooth enamel, dentine, coronal pulp, radicular pulp and uh, this is again the radicular pulp, interdental bone or the furcation region this is the interdental bone just to check the bone loss region bone loss in cases of periodontitis Okay, and then this is uh, the path of inferior alveolar nerve canal cortex. Usually, the nerve canal it is seen uh, it passes from the lingula uh, that is on the lingual aspect of the mandible, uh, and it goes and opens up on the buccal aspect as me, uh, in the mental foramen. So we'll just approximately mark it over here. This is the nerve canal cortex. Okay, so basically one of the important anatomical landmark usually for implant planning cases okay so this was basically about anatomical landmarks as seen in a 3d volume scan